Playing for England colleges was, was quite nice when I was younger, but my, my, my best moment was scoring the winner against Altrincham in the FA Trophy. On a cold Tuesday night, they'd come down from Manchester, the pitch was frozen, cars on the pitch, um, and just being able to pop up in the sort of 88th minute and have a pot shot from 30 yards go in was nice. Uh, he clearly knows the game inside out, and, and you can see from all his sessions they're methodical and they're thought out in terms of what we've done the week before or what our areas of development need to be for that week or the game that's coming up. Um, organisational superb, and he clearly understands exactly what he's doing. Um, and you know that the lads are working hard, but there's no one working harder than him, which is obviously quite nice as a player. You want the manager, you want to know that the manager's working as hard as you are, if not harder. Um, and I think that you get that from him, and the passion for the game is obviously really, really strong. There's a few different things happening um, on and off the pitch um, at Bogner um, and I sort of felt that I was at there for a long time um, and I'd become sort of not stagnant in my career or what I was doing but I fancied a change um, and I sort of spoke to a couple of the lads that I'd played with for a little while that came here and they told me how professional it was and how good it was and I thought Look, I could do with a change and, and Worthing seemed to be the right fit for the sort of person I am um, and where the club's going is what I want to be playing football for. Yeah, it's been superb. I thought it was going to be a little bit sort of difficult from my point of view because you sort of come over from the rival club, if you like, and I expected it to be a little bit frosty in terms of like, oh, well, he's, we don't know what he's about. He's been there for years, so we're not sure. But every single one of them has been superb, stopping me like in the bar, stopping me on the way to games, having a chat. Um, and every time that you sort of play in there, regardless of how bad we've been playing sometimes, they've been sort of there for you and uh, being that 12th man, and that's superb. I mean, for this one, I've sort of gone with who I've played with that I think would make a good back four. Um, Craig Robson, who plays for Barnet, played with him at, at Bogner. Um, he's not the ultimate professional at all, does what he wants when he wants, loves a drink on a Friday night, but he was the best player on the pitch that I've played centre half with for a very long time. Stuart Axton, um, who played for Worthing and then came to Bogner, um, but he was just a man mountain. We always used to say, if I could have his head and ability or he had my pace, would be a decent player. Um, so that was when I was quick, by the way. Um, so I'd have Stuart Axton um, and then probably uh, Harvey White um, in at right back. And then I'd probably play uh, Al Parsons at left back and that'd be my back four. Quite lucky, really, I think. I seem to be in the box and I don't tend to move. I've not got great movement. I just sort of seem to move in. And for some reason, since I've been playing, the ball seems to fall at me sometimes in the box or I just find a half a yard and I'm there. Um, it's just sort of, I'd say, more luck than judgment on anything. Um, just the club, the professionalism, Hinch as a manager, um, very, very appealing, the club, in the whole entirety. Um, and then I spoke to Buddy and Parsons and both of them were saying to me, listen, mate, I, I don't want to sort of sway you, you do what you feel like you want to do, but it's, it's superb down here. And, and they're, the creed that I, they hold in terms of what they say to me is, is high. So for them to say that to me, I thought, yeah, Worthing's the one for me. Absolutely not. Um, Dave, Dave or Ollie Pierce, I think one of them two will be up there. Dave's obviously got a bit of a head start, but once Ollie finds his feet and knows where the net is, he'll be hot on his heels. So nah, I'll, I'll happily take third behind them two. Um, Hinch wears his heart on his sleeve. Um, and in football, I think you've, you've got to be a bit more like that. I think my teaching's a little bit more uh, quieter um, in terms of my delivery methods. Um, but I think we both have a bit of passion just in different ways in our areas, yeah. That's definitely top sort of top three. Um, winning any FA, FA Cup game in away from home against the league and higher opposition um, is obviously big. Um, and then to pop up with two goals is obviously super for myself personally. Um, so yeah, definitely my top three. Oh, I'd... I, Hopefully Oli, but I think it's going to be me. Well, I've got to score first of all, so um, it's difficult to know because once the sort of uh, the juices get going while you're playing, you never know what you're going to do. I'd like to say I'd be sort of uh, respectful and not take the take the mick, but you never know. Uh, if I score, I'll be very happy though. Um, Will Mars likes to think he's the prankster. Uh, he's not though. Um, 
the best one's Danny Barker. He, uh, whenever there's young'uns or the old uns, he uh, lets you know if the young'uns win. Um, I'd say he's the biggest pranker, but I've not actually been done myself properly yet. Um, there was an incident where someone's socks got cut. Um, that wasn't me, um, and they weren't too pleased. So thankfully, not me just yet. Uh, not think differently, no. Um, I feel like I look forward to playing a bit longer now. Um, when I was sort of last year and I wasn't playing, I was thinking, oh, do I really need to be coming and, and not playing? Am I getting to that stage where I don't need it? But since I've had the kid and obviously being a boy, um, it's made me feel like I want him to come and watch me play when he's sort of four or five and get fall in love with the game like I did when I was that young. So it made me want to sort of prolong my career a little bit more. Um, I always like to sit in the same seat. Um, Obviously at home, always the same seat. When I'm away, if I've played at the ground before, I know where I like to sit. Um, and I always do my um, right shin pad, then my left shin pad. I don't know why, I don't know if that's just habit or superstition, but since I've done it, I've, or since I started doing it, I've always wanted to do it that way. So I don't know why that is, but I do. Um, for me, I feel like in terms of the whole team, just needs to be a little bit more streetwise, if you like like little things like not conceding from set pieces or with five minutes to go in the half not playing in our own back and losing the ball or conceding and just being a little bit more clinical in both boxes really for me personally um, I'd say it's exactly the same thing I need to recognise the time in the game um, as one of the experienced players and be that sort of older head and let the boys know that this is an important time we don't concede now we stay tight we stay resolute um, and I think that that's something that I need to develop um, sort of the guidance of the back four um, for me personally It's going to be interesting, um, so obviously I've never played against them. I think it'll be more different for me when I'm playing them away, because um, I've never been in the away changing room. Um, but playing them here, now I think it'll just be, once once it hits three o'clock, you sort of, you know that you're focused on winning the game, regardless of who you're playing. The other your mates, you know the fans, it, it, it's irrelevant, I'm playing football to win. Um, so no, it'll be fine, just like another game normally. <laughs> Obviously, it's difficult because my allegiances have changed, um, but it, it's got to be that the 5 0 win at home. Um, the best moment was, was James Fraser's goal where he dinked it over Steve Metcalf and then scored. So, cheers, Mets. Well done, mate. But that, hopefully, I'll have a new memory uh, come Saturday where we beat them here for the first time in a little while. That's the aim. You, I didn't. Um, when, I was, when I was at Bogner, um, Jamie Howell was the manager then. He always used to say to me beforehand, if I was going to play centre-half, if you're playing centre-half, don't sulk. Um, so I didn't used to enjoy it. But since I've come here, where it's it's total football, um, and I'm encouraged if I'm playing on the right-hand side of a two to bomb on as a sort of wing-back, as a full-back. Um, no, I've, I've enjoyed playing here. Not as much, uh, sorry, more so than I thought I was going to. Um, so yeah, no, I do enjoy it. That's Matt Storm, that is. Um, I've got one, just the old fist pump, that's all you need. Um, I don't need any gimmicks, I'm not, I don't score good enough goals to have good celebrations, so a little fist pump, that'll do me.